Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's going on, fifth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. I'm super excited that you guys are here today getting ready to prepare for that test. Now, I hope you have your worksheet because I'm gonna ask you to pause the video in just a second. If you're like, Miss McCarthy, I don't have the worksheet, check out the link below or somewhere around this video. That link will take you to a place where you can download the worksheet that you need for this video and the other videos in the Math FSA Boot Camp Series for fifth grade. So at this time, go ahead and pause the video Try number one and number two on your own and then press play when you're ready to check your work. Make sure you throw down your best. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and see how you did. So the very first thing we need to just take a look at is what kind of question are we working with here? So I'm seeing five answer choices. Usually when there's more than four answer choices, what kind of question is it? Yeah, it's a multi-select, so make sure that you throw that answer in there. Multi-select, meaning that we're carefully going to check out each answer choice because it could be more than one. All right, let's take a look at this question. So it says, the product, which is the answer to a multiplication problem, the product of the equation, so we have an equal sign, below is greater than 60,000. So I know that you're probably saying, well, I don't see an equal sign, Miss McCarthy. Technically, this right here is also an equal sign, this line going down. It means is or equals. So they're saying that the product or the answer or the answer of this equation below is greater than 60,000. Which of the following could be the missing digit? Do you all see the missing digit? Yeah, it's right there, right? Okay. This is the way that I'm showing my journey, that I'm marking up my text, and I encourage you to do the same. Here's what I'm going to do. I do want you to be working through each one and taking a close look at each one, but... If you're picking up wind chimes in the background, I'm sorry, there's a lot of wind, apparently, and somebody has wind chimes. Sorry. Okay, so... I'm going to be kind of strategic with this because it is a test and I do have to take a look at each of the answer choices, but that doesn't mean that I have to solve out each of them. So what I'm going to do is pop in this middle one right here. I'm going to place the digit three into the box and I'm going to see what the product is because that will help me determine do I even need to calculate the other ones. Let's pop that missing digit in of 35 and solve it out. So five times seven is 35. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Five times eight is 40, good. Plus three is 43. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Five times six is 
30, and 30 plus 4 is 34. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So our first product would be 8,435. Now I'm going to reset the problem because I'm finished with the 5 and now I'm moving on to the digit 3, which has a value of 30. So to do that, I'm going to cross out, erase, and place a 0. Cross out, erase, and place a 0. What do I mean by that? Cross out, erase, or... I'm going to go ahead and, because I'm using a pen, I'm just gonna cross out, but you could erase with a pencil and place a zero. Now I'm working with a three. Three times seven is 21. Woo, what's high up here in the clouds? Nice landing, dude. Three times eight is 24, plus two is 26, good. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude, 26. Three times six is? 18 plus 2 is 20. Who would tie up here? Nice landing, dude. I'm getting a little slanted there. Sorry about that. I'll make sure I'm real careful when I'm adding them up. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 plus 2 is 5. All right, so add them up. 5, 4, 4 plus 6 is, all right, 10. 1 plus 8 is 9, and we have 59,045. 59,045, so that would be a product of 59,045. But our question said the product of the equation below of this one is greater than 60,000, which means that it can't be 3 because our product is 59,000. It also means that it can't be what? Yeah, it can't be B or A because if we put a lower digit in there, it's just going to make our product smaller, right? So we can go ahead, we've already proven mathematically that we can eliminate those two. Well, now let's go ahead and try four. If we can, if we can put four in there as the missing digit and it is greater than 60,000, then we know that our answer is going to be four and also five. So let's try that out. Give myself some space. We've got 1,687 times 45. Okay, I hope I have enough room there. So five times seven is 35. Woo, what's up here in the clouds? Nice landing, dude. What's five times eight? 40. And 40 plus three is 43. Five times six is 30. And 30 plus four is 34. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Five times one is five, and five plus three is eight. Now we're going to reset, so cross out, erase, and place a zero. I'm gonna pause real quick because I just wanna remind you, I know that I'm going kinda quickly through the multiplication of this. That's because I'm assuming that you're here for more of the test prep. However, if you know that you need some more practice in mastering multiplication, division, anything fifth grade, I am going to point you in the direction of more videos at the end of this lesson, so stay tuned, okay? I've totally got your back. I'll slow it down and break it down for you in other videos, but for here, I'm just assuming that we can keep going, okay? Let's move on to the four, which has a value of 40. Very good. Four times seven is 28. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. Four times eight is 32. 32 plus two is 34. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Now keep in mind, I'm using pen just because it shows up better on camera, but you should definitely be using a what? A pencil, un lapis, see? Okay, where was I? The 34, okay, four times six is 24 and 24 plus 3 is 27. Nice landing, dude. Last one. 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 plus 2 is 6. Add it up and I can already tell this baby is going to be way bigger than 60,000. So 5, 11, 4 and 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 
8 and 7 is 15, 1 and 6 is 7. And we have 75,915 as our product. Which does that work? Is it greater than 60,000? Yes. So the digit four is a correct answer. Yes, four can definitely go into this box right there. That is a missing digit because it creates a product, a total that is greater than 60,000. Because of that, we know that if we put the digit five into the missing value, what would happen to the product? It would go even higher and therefore mathematically without even solving it out, we can prove that five would work as well. Cool? What was that? Ooh, let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Number two, before we even get started, you know that I like to identify the question type and I'm looking right here at this grid. So obviously this is a, what kind of question? A gridded response. Gridded response. Let's read and mark up the question. What is the product? Well, we just said that a product is the answer to what kind of question? Multiply, right? It's a multiplication to find the total. It's the answer to a multiplication problem. So what is the product of, read this number with me, 23,409 and 47. So somebody who didn't know that product meant that we multiply might think, oh, maybe I add them, maybe I divide them. It's not division because division would say, what is the quotient? Very good. Let's multiply them. <laughs> I just wrote down the digit four. We will turn that into 409 with 23,000 right there. Whew. That's why you should be using pencil because even I with a pen and making mistakes. Okay. Nine times seven is 63. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing dude. Seven times zero is zero and zero plus six is six. Seven times four is 28. Woo, that's the wrong one. 28. 7 times 3 is 21, and 21 plus 2 is 23. 7 times 2 is 14, and what's 14 plus 2? 16. Wow, that's a big product. Now let's reset it and cross out, erase, and place a zero. Cross out, erase, getting rid of those guys and place a zero. Four times nine is 36. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. Four times zero is zero and zero plus three is three. Four times four is 16. Ooh, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. Now you might be saying, why do you say why? Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Because it helps you to remember that you're putting it up high with the first one. Like 16 would be one up high in the clouds and the six drops down. Nice landing, dude. The one I put in the clouds because it helps my brain to switch off between, because we're multiplying right now, right? And we're multiplying and then switching to adding. It just helps me to remember that my brain is switching from multiplication to addition when I'm adding my regroupies up there is what I call them. Too much talking, I forgot what I was doing. I think we just did four times four is 16, so now four times three is 12, and then 12 plus one is 13. Whoo, it's high up here, nice landing dude. A four times two is what? Eight, good. Eight plus one is nine. Now we're gonna add them up. So three, make sure that you're lined up neatly and then add them up. Three plus zero is three, six and six is 12. Woo, what's up here? Nice landing, dude. One plus eight plus three is 14. Good. One plus three plus six is 10. And then again, one plus six plus three, just the reverse order would be a 10. And one, one and nine 
is 11. Awesome. Okay, so now what we need to do is transfer this over into the grid. And let's count real quick. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. And in my gridded response, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. Woo! We have just enough. Now, keep in mind that with a gridded response, you don't put the commas in there, okay? These are not commas up here. What are these? They're decimals. They mean something completely different than a comma. So do not use the decimal point as a comma. Got it? So watch how I do it. Two Jupe, jupe, zero, zero, one, one. Make sure you transfer your answer the right way. And then you could do all this work. Look guys, we've worked on this whole problem. We got the right answer. We plugged the right answer in here and the computer would mark it wrong. Why? Yeah, because we didn't bubble it in. So make sure that you bubble it in as well. And actually these could be bubbled in a little bit darker. I have a little bit of a glare going hard for me to see all the way up there. Okay, that is how you do this one. Now let's talk about some extra practice for you. Okay, I promised you that I would send you in the direction of more helpful videos, okay? If you know that you need some more practice with multiplication, I encourage you to check out the link below for McCarthy Math 155. This is a game-changing program. Seriously, like students in schools, they look forward to this program every day. There's 155 videos, which means that there's actually a video for almost every day of the school year. And teachers, if you become a member for McCarthy Math 155, you can share these videos with your students. And I walk through how to do that in the tutorials tab. Before you become a member though, you should check it out. And I give you a seven day free trial to anybody who wants one. So check it out for free seven days. And I want you to try unit one in McCarthy Math 155 for the fifth grade version. Unit one has tons of practice for multiplication. And I'm right there with you walking you through each step. So that way you can become more confident with multiplication once and for all. Also, if you know that you need some more practice with the FSA style of questions, I'm also going to include a link to the How to Pass the Math FSA series that I recorded a few years ago. Now this series was based on a computer-based test because it used to be the Math FSA, it used to be a computer-based test. It's not anymore, it's a paper-based test, which is why I created this video that you're watching right now to mirror the types of questions that you will see this year on the Math FSA. Still, the How to Pass the Math FSA series is great, so go ahead and check it out for extra practice. There's a link below, boom. Since this is a multiplication video, I will also include a link to the multiplication mashup. For those of you who know that you still need to practice your multiplication facts, you don't have them down quite like this fast yet, the multiplication mashup can be a game changer for you once and for all understanding your multiplication facts, so check that out. Why don't you stay in the loop with everything McCarthy Math Academy? That way you know when I'm creating something new. Or you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. Obviously, I'm here on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. And while you're here, can you go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoyed this episode? It really does help me to get the word out to more kids. That way I can help them like I'm helping you right now. So thanks for that like. I appreciate you. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you are the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before you go, I just want you to know that you were born for a reason, for a purpose. That's right, you are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because this is a whole new generation of a world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have the choice to choose kindness. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.